Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ness and in today's video, we're building another vacation home for a cutie on Happy Home Paradise. If you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to, I'd love if you subscribe and join our family. With that all said, enjoy the video. So I am slowly transitioning these videos into more of speed builds as opposed to let's plays just because I'm afraid that it will get a little bit redundant basically greeting Lottie every single time I still never miss out on saying hello to Wardell but that's besides the point Oh, and my shopping trips <laughs> But besides that, I have cut out a good portion of the beginning just because I don't want it to get too repetitive and I still show the types of villagers that I encounter on the island just so you all can get an idea of who I see before picking the actual villager that I end up building the vacation home for so I really liked all of their prompts this time, but like I said in my last video, I really wanted to do something that was out of my comfort zone and sort of utilizing items that I don't normally use. With gardens and anything that has to do with flowers, I am very much used to using plants on my island. So I decided to go with Mac and he wants a little campground, which I thought was super adorable. And here we are, we can see what items that he wants and are requesting for his vacation home. I chose this island for Mac's little camping getaway because I thought that it would be a really cute place with the two level cliffs and also the waterfall in the middle. I just think it is so pretty and works really well in terms of the naturey and camping environment. And now it's time to build and I really hope you enjoy the video. So, full disclaimer, sometimes I'm very tempted to remove the beginning, I want to say like 2 to 5, almost maybe even 10 minutes of me building because most of the time it's me just figuring it out, but I feel like this is pretty nice to see also just because I don't get ideas right away and honestly most of the time I hate it more than I like it at first and then I just kind of scrap the idea and then start over. So in the beginning I wanted to do sort of like a little cabin glamping type of getaway so it would be sort of similar to my last post or last video where I had a house and then had like a little scenic backdrop and with this I wanted to do it so that the scenic backdrop was to the left because it would make sense because the little waterfall and the little pond is to the left of the house. But after sort of just messing around with everything, I realized that is pretty repetitive so I wanted to do something very different. And basically what I ended up doing was making the outside inside. So obviously the exterior is the exterior, but I used the dirt flooring and I used this glowing moss wallpaper because I really wanted to bring the outside in, sort of. I wanted to literally just pretend that this is a part of the outside in general. So I had a lot of fun making this because again, outside of my comfort zone, I think Happy Home Paradise is literally the place to test your creativity and sort of just do whatever you want. There's no rules, nothing really needs to make sense ever. So I decided to do something like that where I had it look like the outside. Let me know what you guys think and if you guys made a vacation home for Mac, let me know what you did too. After I decided what type of aesthetic I was aspiring for, I was kind of struggling figuring out what type of room size I wanted it. Honestly, I was super excited about it when it first was introduced but then afterwards I'm like I don't know like it's like I don't want it too small because then I can't decorate too much but then too big it's like how do you really fill the spaces so 
I knew for a fact I wanted to do something that looked like it was very lived in and very real. So what I mean by that is that I don't want the chairs to be perfectly aligned with the table and I don't want everything to be perfectly in a circle or just, I guess, too, quote, perfect. So as you see, I'm sort of messing around with the tents. The tents are sort of overlapping ever so slightly. And then the chairs on the bottom right, they're not directly in front of the table. They're just kind of scattered. And I think I really, really like that look where it's just sort of lived in and people are just sort of like, it's, it's more realistic, I guess. That's like the only way I can really describe it. And especially in the middle, how I'm placing the log stools, it's not in a perfect circle or it's not in a perfect square. I think that looks really nice too, but personally, this is sort of my preference. And so to do that, it takes up a lot more room. Therefore, I ended up making the room a lot bigger than I anticipated, but I still really like it. And I think it's super adorable. I guess I will also take this time to say that I was recording this at 4.30 in the morning and as I was building the outside and just, you know, getting like all into my creative zone, I realized after the fact that I wasn't recording. <laughs> so my deepest apologies, but I don't have a speed build part of the exterior. I did still record the exterior it's just that it was finished when i was recording it so you guys will still be able to see it it's just not going to be the progress of it i am sorry it was so late and i just it just went over my head i guess i just never pressed record and i just started decorating <laughs> nevertheless though i still really hope that you guys find some type of inspiration from it and let me know how you think i did or just say hi in the comments and tell me how your day is going. I really enjoyed using the vine garlands in this build, particularly because I just think that it really lended and helped make this place look really, really naturey and more of the aesthetic that I was trying to achieve by making it look like it was the outside because this just looks like the overhead was filled with trees and greenery and vines. So I really like that. So. That's probably one of my favorite items now, but that's an item that I don't normally use. So I was really happy to be able to finally use it and sort of see how it works in different spaces.
I decided to show the final look in the dark just because I think it looks so pretty with the campfire in the middle and I think that the glowing moss wallpaper gives this space just enough light so that it sort of looks like there is moonlight shining on it and I really like the way that this turned out. It makes me want to go camping and I haven't been camping in a while. Used to not be a fan of it because I'm terrified of bugs and just anything in the forest scares me. <laughs> but I really hope you all enjoyed the video and here is the look of the exterior. I am so sad that I didn't get the progress of it, but this is what it looks like. I figured I'd still show you all just in case you can find any type of inspiration from it. I kept it really simple with a cute little laundry area, more greenery and some wild flowers, and then a seating area and a little bit more of a cooking space outdoors too. And then just another tent on the upper left, just so it looks like it's a group camping trip and I think it's super cute. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I appreciate you so much. And until next time, take care and have a lovely day, weekend, week, whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you next time. Bye!